Paige, what are you not saying? It's better than it. We're about to go to work, and then after work, we're gonna have a little night out. And then, uh, I mean, it's 7 a.m. in work again, so I'm gonna have to wake up at like half five. So uh, it's gonna be dead, but let's do it. Alright, you lot already know we're in at 7 a.m. Yeah, well, this is how I'll be looking in the morning. Uh, your boy's deceased, but it's a little workout thing from us. Oh, you lot, I'm actually in such a big boy now. I was in such good shape last summer, and it's all gone to sh I'm not sure if you might have noticed that after that workout, my size is actually a bit too athletic, so uh, I'm going to go get some brunch. What the hell even is that? Breakfast and lunch? Why don't I just have one of the other? F*** off. Wait, where are you two off? Yes. Yeah, I can't. We're going to Blackpool. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. What time is it? It's kind of that's more what I mean. Giving it all in a day's work, chipping sweat and my feet hurt, living my life after. Come on, you go, go, go. The sweetest dream will never do us to miss you, baby. You love it, don't you? You bad bitch and I lick that lips, taste like lamb and gin that got thrown in the face of the lamb. So unfortunately, we tried to stay at the worst rated hotel in Blackpool. Turns out that the worst rated hotel in Blackpool because you can't. Stay there. We, we, we tried to do a semi nice travel lodge. How are we vibing? How are we vibing? Is there any content over here? No. Beach. <laughs> That'll do. Hey, Alright, here's a little review for you because I know you're gasping. A violent waste of time. The tide came in, so there was no beach. So I'd argue there was neither pleasure nor beach. And I'm fuming. I've managed to secure the trim though, yeah, we like that, yeah. Because I'm going on a little night out in a second. I've been told that maybe to uh, relax, that I should go take a bath, but we can't do that. We always take showers because we're too, we're too huge. We're too huge. We're too big. Just on that note though, am I the only person that never nails a bath? Like, I fill up the bath to the point where I think that's a nice water level. And then I forget that when I get in because of my, my pure stature, my size, I displace so much water. Anyway, yeah, let's that's go now. Let's go. Let's go. That is busy. Was unaware you had beef with me. Was unaware you're so damn witty. I I got phone off and that can't roll So time is straight with your teeth bent and your head dizzy Remember when he tried to sell with me? No burner, no scales And I'm tripping the revenue with three sales You're selling ten bags in used baggies And she wanted to be her baby daddy I'm motherfucker, your head's burning Cause your kid got fucking heads turning Baby gave me that pacifier Cause daddy's mouth won't stop gurning Yeah, daddy's nose won't stop burning I'm bit swerving, bread earning Kept swerving, fed swerving, shit stir This is my best mate Aaron I'ma show you how we genuinely nearly died By being stupid Basically, Evan found this abandoned plane wreckage on TikTok, so he picked me up one afternoon and we drove down to the site. By the time we arrive, we're above the clouds. It's snowy, icy, windy, rainy. It's like Glasgow, but I would go there. There comes a point where you have to park up and walk, and stupidly, we decided to take a shortcut off of the path. You see, when we set off, it was bright daylight, but we forgot that because we're so high up, the sun was going to disappear underneath us and it was going to go very quickly. This left us stranded in minus five degree weather with no phone signal, no path in pitch black and really thick fog. After roughly 20 minutes of walking, we spotted a light in the distance, and by some miracle, the sheer weight of the wind shook Aaron's car enough to set off the alarm. Following that light, we were able to find our way back to the road. Oh, lovely. Back to civilization. <laughs> Back to not in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not even close to the near death experience I suffered later on that night. You see, feeling overconfident from our continued mortality, we decided a night out was definitely on the cards. You want yeah, basically fucking listening. Lose the back and get put down. Plant a gaff and get shut down. Ten toes down, on a calm down, but motherfucker got run down. How many seconds to get up to the top of that and back? Seventeen. We're not even gonna know until the end of the video. Can I just say come I'm in dots? Okay, plus three seconds, twenty seconds. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, I can. He has fallen. My man has got the pages, giving it all of the pieces of me. Living my life. My ankle shattered into that thing as well. Be back, eh? Living my life to the beat, all that I've wanted to be. Drinking is killing my living experience, and I'm delirious. I'm at the top of my game, though. I'd have been one of the fame, though. What are you saying to that bin and back? Give me out, give me out. Two, Two one, one, three. three. Oh.